Please make sure that if it is an FAG bottom bracket, the bike falls within the serial number range 14032841444 until 17051500001. An FAG bottom bracket was previously used on our bikes that falls outside of this range. It has the flower profile flange but with no 20 spline internal tool interface. Brompton will be shipping an allocation of thin bottom bracket replacements to you shortly. If you require further stock of replacement bottom brackets, please contact your sales rep. To carry out the work, you will need a 20 spline bottom bracket tool, a torque wrench capable of delivering 30 Nm, an 8mm socket, a crank extractor and relevant spanners to operate, an 8mm long handle allen key, assembly grease, a rag, degreaser and gloves. Unthread the chain from the tension arm of the chain tensioner. This can be easily achieved by releasing the rear frame, allowing the tensioner to relax. Lift the chain off the chain ring and carefully place to one side, taking care not to mark the frame. Remove the 8mm allen key crank bolt. Insert the crank extractor making sure to achieve a clean and positive fit with the crank arm. Apply pressure to the extracting part of the tool and remove the crank. Repeat the same steps to the non-drive side. This will remove the non-drive side crank. Take the 20 spline bottom bracket tool and fit the non-drive side bottom bracket shell. Turn the tool anti-clockwise to loosen and then remove the non-drive side cup. Be careful of tool slipping when applying and relieving load on the bottom bracket cups. Apply the tool to the drive side cup and turn clockwise to loosen. Remember to loosen the drive side bottom bracket in this direction. Over tightening the bottom bracket can cause the cup flange to shear off, leaving the bottom bracket shell stuck in the frame. Fitting the new part. To start, clean the threads of the frame's bottom bracket shell. Apply fresh grease to both sides of the shell, winding clockwise the new non-drive side cup by hand to accurately locate the threads. Make sure the cup is in only halfway at first. This will act as a guide for the drive side cartridge. Wind the drive side anti-clockwise into the frame. Again, start this by hand to make sure no cross threading occurs. Once you have the clean fit, tighten up the drive side bottom bracket with the 20 spline tool. This can be done to a torque of between 24 and 30 Nm. Any more than that may apply too much pressure to the flange of the cups. Tighten up the non-drive side bottom bracket cup to lock the unit up against the frame. Once you are happy with the fit, replace the chain set. Fit the crank bolts, making sure to torque them to 30 Nm. Carefully refit the chain to the chain set. Finally, release the rear frame to easily refit the tension arm of the chain tensioner and re-clip the rear frame. 